Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can slightly read this, uh, not article, but a um, post that a person had on the fact that Kim Kardashian called Whitney Houston an old hag, okay, and a crackhead. Mm. So what we call you, uh, vixen, video vixen ho, Kim Kardashian, the one who made sex tapes and became rich off of that, and the starting to your career of just showing yo poorly design of a human being girl you lay on your back and you saying witness smoke crack really really which one the prostitution or you taking in freely of some substances okay but you'll always be known as a hoe a prostitute kim all right and run out the rich black men at that. You and your whole family. But anyway, that's just allegedly. That's my opinion. And it just is what it is. But we're going to get into something of a short commentary about Candace Owens. Which we ain't going to talk about her too much. Because we know she's we know she's controversial as well. Because she hang out with Kim's really not ex-husband. Because she just filed for being legally separated. So technically, in my eyes and the Lord's, you're not—you still married, Kim. But anyway, nothing nor here nor there. Uh, like I said, um, we had somebody from Vibe.com wrote an article uh, up on Kim calling uh, Whitney Houston the voice, the legend, the girl. You know what, girl? But you didn't say that shit when she was living, okay? Because you know it probably would have got back to Whitney, and then Whitney would have came. And, and, and uh, sold you up from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, girl. She would have wore your behind out. Because Whitney wasn't scared. She wasn't scared, huh? She wasn't another black little girl being scared running around now. She was fighting folks, okay? But anyway, we had Armand Sattler put out an article on her through his employer, Vibe.com. It was titled, Candace Owens Leaks Old Kim Kardashian Audio of Whitney Houston's Insult. Okay. As we continue to read, it goes in to say, Candace Owens pushed her allegiance with Kanye West even further this week when she leaked an allegedly old Kim Kardashian voicemail on the October 10th episode of her podcast. Okay. Y'all hear me now. Stay with me now. The audio, which was initially sent to Ray J, allegedly features the mother of four making disparaging comments about her ex-boyfriend's former partner at the time, the late Whitney Houston. Some tapes are making the rounds where it's not the sweet little Kim K that she portrays today. She's nasty, Owen said. The 33-year-old political commentator punctuated her statement by exclaiming, it is the opposite version of the Kim Kardashian that your kids have been following before pressing play on the auto. A voice comes on which sounds very similar to Kim K and says, Ray, it's Kim. The voice in question goes on to call the One Wish singer disgusting before taking aim at Houston. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At this time... We are assuming that Ray J is planning to take legal action against the Kardashians. We don't know how true that is because he go back and forth. Child, he was just talking about committing suicide, you know, maybe a week or so ago, okay? And I'm like, are you serious? Right, are you serious, okay? Sit yourself down, get in prayer, and keep it moving, okay? 
Uh, but anyway, it says, honestly, go have fun with old hag Whitney Houston. She's so sick, the voice said. Crack is definitely not wet with you guys. You are just honestly, it makes me laugh how disgusting you guys look. So, my deal with this, you would call him both Whitney and Ray J. Crack ass, honey. That's the faming of character. Okay, that's the meaning of another human being. But you did all this some years ago when Whitney was living, but you didn't come to her and call her that to her face. I bet you did. No, you didn't, Kim. No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it says, um, though it is unclear when the voicemail was sent, the situation becomes even more layered as the Internet was quick to recall how the reality TV star expressed her love for the six-time Grammy winner upon her passing in 2012 and even offered condolences to the singer's family and basically it's just showing a, a old twitter post about uh whitney houston pan, uh passing and she prays for her daughter and loved ones so, uh, we, we, we don't like all this superficial shit that we know ain't coming from the heart Kim. so keep it mush, moving keep it pushing baby then it says only alleges that kim k frustration was rooted in the fact that uh, Ray J was becoming more famous than her after she gained notoriety from their leaked sex tape in 2007. As of now, Kardashian has not responded to Owens. Mm -hmm. And we know why she ain't going to respond because she knows she said it. So let me see if I can play the audio for you guys so y'all can have a little bit more context uh, of what we're speaking on. You know, I get a lot of feedback from you guys about me covering culture, and I, I will, I just want to state one more time, I'm never going to stop covering culture because it matters, and it is because conservatives hold the opinion that it doesn't matter that we have lost so much ground to the left. It is because we have not made any investment in talking about culture that we have ceded so much ground to the left. It is because of this that we are absent in Hollywood, and it's because of this that the biggest public figures in the world are left-leaning and vote left, and they show up when it's time for election season, and they stand behind these people and convince the masses, the young kids who are seized by culture, right? They don't care about your policy papers. They don't care about the, the debates that you guys are having, these intellectual debates on stage and these panels. They don't care. They're watching Kim Kardashian on Instagram, and Kim Kardashian says, hey, go out and vote for Hillary Clinton. They go and they do it because that's what it means to be an influencer. So if we are not competing there, we are competing nowhere. For the record, once again, Andrew Breitbart was correct when he said politics is downstream from culture. And I have been fascinated, as you guys know, with the Kim Kardashian sex tape story, which is so relevant, I cannot tell you. Because if this is correct, and by all indications, it seems that Ray J, her ex, is telling the truth, that she was not a victim of a sex tape, but she orchestrated the sex tape, right? that she's actually a nasty person behind the scenes who has been hell-bent on being famous, and she used a lot of black men in particular to get to where she is, and then left them in the dust. Calls Ray J desperate, and you know, don't know what's going on with him, and now Kanye is crazy, and she's just completely promoted herself to be in the status that she is, right? Now you have Ray J. Ray J being the entertainer, who is at the beginning of the story, who has spoken out and said, this has all been a lie, I have had communication with her spanning back for years. I have helped her in every aspect of her career pre-Kanye involvement, and he's angry. And he is saying he is going to sue this family. This is relevant, right? This is relevant to culture to prove to children that everything that they see is a deception and a lie. Well, some tapes are making the rounds of Kim Kardashian, and she's talking trash. This is years ago. It seems to be a voicemail that she left Ray J where it's not the sweet little Kim K that she presents today. She's nasty, she's calling Whitney Houston a crackhead, and she's yelling at Ray J. And this tape landed on my lap, and I am told that there is much, much more, and it is the opposite version of the Kim Kardashian that your kids have been following. This is just a sample of the tape. Again, this is a voicemail that she left Ray J. Take a listen. Ray, it's Kim. I just want you to know that I think you are so disgusting and desperate. Who leaves their email address on their machine? You clearly want people to call you, but yet you won't call me back. And actually, you know what? Don't call me back. Don't ever call me back. I never want to talk to you ever, ever again. I think 
you're honestly a sick human being and it's just you are just so desperate that you'll do anything for attention and you're just so disgusting. Honestly, go like have fun with old tag Whitney Houston. Like she's so sick and like Crack is definitely not whack with you guys because you know, it just honestly like makes me laugh on how disgusting you guys look. You know what I'm You're f***ing hideous with Whitney and you need to go hang out with your old, like, friend. And if it's not right, but it's okay, I'm definitely going to make it anyway because you guys are just disgusting and sick and stop you know, with her, I don't understand it. She's so old and sick, and you are just sick and desperate. So leave me the f alone and stop calling me. I hate you. So it's being alleged that she left that voicemail because she was upset that Ray J at that moment was becoming more famous than her because he was dating Whitney Houston, who obviously has now passed. Uh, like I said, I'm just throwing that out there because there was a lot more that was presented to me from people that are in Ray J's circle, and I am basically openly inviting him to come onto the show. I can even do a separate podcast because I think the Kardashian family is potentially a Hollywood cartel. And what I mean by that is not that they're moving drugs, uh, but I am talking about the control that they have in Hollywood and the lies that they have told to get the, where, to where they're going. And I think that they have left a lot of victims in their wake, Ray J included. He's rightfully angry, and I want to keep covering that because a family like this should be exposed. So Ray J, if you're seeing this, open invite. So you are not even going to believe this, but you should believe it because it's TikTok. TikTok has banned users from even searching for the term white lives matter, listing the phrase as being associated with hateful behavior. Okay, and she's moving into another subject, so we had to get off of that one because we weren't covering that. But we may come back. We may come back if we find the time and the energy to discuss that uh, thing what Kanye did when he was saying white lives matter, you know. <sighs> anyway, uh, that's all I got for this particular video, guys. Y'all get down in those comments. Y'all sound off in there, and you know I'll be there once um, I finish doing whatever I'm doing and I have time to respond. Because you know I like to respond to you guys. So uh, definitely make your mark down there. If you haven't thought about it and you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Like the videos and share them out if you will. Alright, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.